And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Last 12 to 18 hours have been damp ones. We've seen that scattered rainfall move across the viewing area. Heavy rainfall at times and even, yes, a few claps of thunder, especially across our southern counties. Thanks to this passing round of low pressure now centralized over the southern part of Lake Michigan. This is all moving northeastward, dragging that rainfall along with it. And as a result, we're beginning to see much drier conditions here across Greater Lafayette. A few more light lingering rain showers across our northern counties, but aside from that, we are staying dry at this hour. And all in all, we have a very nice Wednesday ahead of us. It's cloudy, though very nice. Temperatures are expected to climb up into the upper 50s, possibly even low 60s later on today with mainly dry conditions. But there are additional rain chances in the forecast, so you may want to keep that umbrella handy over the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. As of uh, rain chances over the last uh, 12 hours alone. Some portions of the viewing area catching more than a half an inch, even more than three quarters of an inch. Notice across far southern Warren County, 0.8 inches of rainfall and near parts of Clinton County right around a uh, half an inch just Lafayette north of Lafayette I should say just about a half an inch of as well so we'll continue to see all this rain passing across the viewing area just off to the east of us however here at home drying out seeing those temperatures run a bit more mild than where they have been during the last few mornings nonetheless we've already seen 50 degrees here in Lafayette over the last two hours or so 48 degrees your current temperature in Rossville it's 46 in Kokomo 40 only in Rensselaer a little bit cooler up there. Temperatures sitting here in Lafayette at 45 degrees. Winds are from the southwest three miles per hour. Check out that visibility though. Right around one and three quarters mile at this point. We'll continue to see low visibility in spots, all thanks to that heavy moisture here at the surface due to the rainfall and those bit more mild temperatures over the last couple of hours alone. Mainly cloudy skies are expected to move back into the region following this passing round of low pressure. Even with the cloud cover, temperatures are expected to remain right around five to ten degrees above average for this time of the year. But once again, I mentioned that chance of rain moving back into the region that's looming off to the west of us by this evening. In fact, we should even see an isolated chance of a shower or two moving in by about 10 p.m. Thereafter, scattered rain showers plaguing the early morning commute for your Thursday. We'll reach a high temperature of 62 degrees in West Lafayette this afternoon, 59 by 5 p.m., dropping to 50 degrees by 10 p.m. We'll bottom out in the upper 30s overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. We have that rainfall moving back into the viewing area with winds from the north at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Scattered rain chances continue throughout the morning hours tomorrow, departing during the early afternoon. Eventually, we're looking at nice conditions for Thursday evening. However, high pressure building in across the Great Plains will make bring northerly winds in over Lake Michigan, driving the chance for a few light flurries moving in over our northern counties by Friday morning, early afternoon. We only reach a high temperature of 34 degrees on Friday, cutting our temperature nearly in half from this afternoon. We only reach a high of 39 on Saturday, 51 your high temperature on Sunday. Slight chance of isolated showers passing across the viewing area thanks to a passing cold front come Sunday afternoon. So besides the rain, uh, enjoy those temperatures today while they last because they're not going to last long. They won't be lasting long. The, the seven day forecast actually kind of an interesting one. A little bit of a roller coaster ride as far as temperatures go. We have the 60s today. Overnight lows dipping down into the teens at times over the next seven days. But then as we get towards next week, we actually begin to see those warm temperatures return. Temperatures in the upper 50s, low 60s as we kick off the next work week. All right.